G'day everybody, where's Wally here? Well, like a dunny door in a storm, Adam is always banging on about large standing bodies of water displaying convexity upon their surface. So let's hear Adam doing his best to parrot this bit of nonsense. So what is it you want to see, Adam? For some reason, the Globe Believers don't want to do the water demo that Dell's been pushing and Dan Pratt recently. Perhaps it's the results. Maybe they find that test a bit boring. But I suspect it's the results they don't like, hence they're not really too enthusiastic about it. But there's no excuses here. The curve of globe earth, okay? But that is their supposed level on a ball. Ridiculous, we know. Scientifically impossible, as all live standing bodies of water tell us. Uh, you, you ignore the real truth because of what you want to be true. Um, this is a very difficult trap to avoid. I fell for it as well, Elon. I wanted large standing bodies of water to have the ability to display convexity upon its surface. It can. Oh, mind blown. Mind blown. That unlocks the mysteries here and proves that standing bodies of water can display convexity upon its surface, does it? No. Large standing bodies of water, Scott, do not have the ability to display convexity upon its surface. Not an opinion, a fact, my airfix loving friend. How does that change demonstrable reality? How does that make large standing bodies of water suddenly able to display convexity upon its surface, Brian? How does it do that? Thanks, Adam. Now, firstly, let me thank Mr. Sensible and Flow Rider for reminding me about towing tanks. I'd forgotten about these things and they're absolutely brilliant for what I'm about to do. Sorry about this, Adam. Now, first of all, before we get started, I want you to meet Nicholas. Nicholas, he really loves a good towing tank. Do not swim in the water. That is not what a towing tank is for. Here, have a listen. It may look like a swimming pool, but towing tanks have a different purpose. The deceptively simple act of towing models of ships down a pool of water did amazing things. It propelled the science of ship design forward. From those experiments, we obtained extremely accurate and precise measurements to reveal the bountiful world of ship hydrodynamics. Today, we discuss a central tool in the field of ship design, the towing tank. Towing tanks are experimental facilities used to test models of ships. The basic idea is that you have a pool of water, you have a model of a ship, you tow the model down the pool of water with some sort of towing mechanism, and you measure the force on the model during this process. Now, that sounds simple. The catch is that during this whole process, it's a very finely controlled process. You're doing very precise and accurate measurements the whole time. The beginning of the towing tank starts back in history. William Froude argued for the very first towing tank to predict ship resistance back in 1870. Now back then, it was much easier to move the model than to move the water. And even with modern technology, it still takes less power to move the model than to move the water. Thanks, Nicholas. And the link to Nicholas's channel is in the description as always. Look, towing tanks are very accurate bits of scientific equipment. Their purpose is to very accurately measure the performance of a nautical design and predict the performance of the design once it's built. Now you can imagine a multi-million dollar ship design that doesn't perform when built would incur huge penalties against the designer and the builder. So they all have to get it right first time. Well, the tow tanks, they are covered and temperature controlled to a fraction of a degree and needless to say, they are level. And the moving frame has to be exactly the same distance from the water for the full length of the tank, or 600 meters of it in the big boy's case. Now we have the perfect setup for Dell's challenge. Yeah, I did say Dell's challenge. So I can detect curvature on a body of water over a mile. Amazing minds, these people, aren't they? Absolutely phenomenal. Why, thanks, Dell. Now look, I know Adam has been championing this thing for a long time, but come on, let's face it. He didn't think of it. We know that for sure. What do you reckon, Adam? You smart enough to think of this? I've got very basic understanding, so you might have to bear with me. So, we all agree that the water is level, but in reality, level isn't straight. 
So if the towing tanks are built to follow the earth curve and are not straight, then I guess we have the evidence of convexity that they all say they want and yet will not do any research to find it. So do the various facilities state that they are not straight or allow for the curve of the earth? Let's have a look. Exhibit one. Well, it seems Southampton University with their 135 meter long tow tank were able to recognize that a level pool is not straight when it's long enough. And for those interested, there's a good explanation of exactly how they managed to get those rails perfectly parallel to the water. Hint, they actually used the water level. Exhibit two. And this 500 long Umberto Puglisi tow tank in south of Rome, it follows earth curve convexity too, and it's displayed upon the surface of the water. Too easy, Adam, barely an inconvenience. Exhibit three. The B600 towing tank at the DGA's Hydrodynamic Center at Val de Rio, something like that, in Normandy, I guess that's France. And guess what? It follows the curve of the earth. Let's have a look at it in action. Exhibit 4, the 500 meter long tow tank at the Naval Sciences and Technology Laboratory. Does it? Does it follow the curve of the Earth? Oh yes, it does follow the curve of the Earth. So now Adam, with your tail between your legs, go back to Dell and Danny and ask for something else to try. The Globies have done shown the convexity upon large standing bodies of water. They really are fucking idiots. It was quite easy really, barely an inconvenience. Now one wonders why you flatties are not finding these things out for yourselves. Uh, you, you ignore the real truth because of what you want to be true. Um, this is a very difficult trap to avoid. Well Adam, I'm going to have to ask you to get all the way off my back about this large bodies of water not showing convexity upon their surface, because clearly, as we have shown, they do, and these are scientific instruments and mate, I look forward to seeing your reverse debunk of me. Come on mate, I'm always the one doing the debunking of you. How about you do us all a favour and see how well you go doing a debunk of the old ping pong wally. Give it a go mate, and see if you can manage it. We'll love to see your effort. I cannot believe wally.